two, three, four, everybody! What's up, you guys? Welcome to the Four Weeks for Everybody sample workout. So excited that you are here. Before we get started, I just want to take a split second and give you a little bit of an overview of what Four Weeks for Everybody is. First of all, I think the name suggests that it's for everybody. So whether you've been working out for years or you're just getting started, I've really kept the movements simple so that you can follow along, but you're gonna push yourself to whatever your max is and get the most out of it. It's four days a week. They're 30 minutes or less. We've all got four days a week and 30 minutes or less to dedicate to our health and to our fitness. Something really special about this workout program is that it has zero impact in it, you guys, no impact. Don't be fooled. That does not mean it's gonna be super easy. You're still gonna get an awesome workout. Work those muscles, but there won't be any impact on the joints and that's gonna feel amazing. So we have four different workouts, meaning there is different emphasis each day. We have a push day where we focus on chest, shoulders, and triceps, a pull day where we focus on back and biceps, leg day, my favorite day, and cardio. Another special thing that we're doing in this workout program is working the eccentric muscle contraction. That is the lengthening of the muscle. I'll explain more of that when we're in the workout, but that means more time under tension. More time under tension means more strength gains. Who doesn't want that? You guys, the program is for everybody. That means I have a modifier for you in case you need to regress any of the exercises. Jumana, to my right, <laughs> we'll have your modifications throughout the entire workout program. You guys, I did design this to be complimentary to go with my nutrition program, the four week gut protocol. But you can do it as a standalone or do it with any other nutrition program like Portion Fix. Really quick, let's meet the cast and we're gonna get to this workout. I've got Katrina, Donald, Jimmy, Emily, and yes, Jumana. Are you guys ready? We're gonna ready. get it. Yes, we're gonna get warmed up with lateral reaches side to side. Here we go. Let's take it up and over. So just reach it, lengthen through those sides. You're gonna give me two more right here. Now from here, circle and go around the world. We're just warming up the body. It prepares our body for the work that we're about to do. That's very important. Lengthen through the back of the legs. We've got two more of these. Try not to grip in your muscles as we try to warm them up. We're trying to loosen them. Reach it, get long. Step those feet right under your hips. Give me a little cat and cow. So arch it and round it. Ooh, yes, warming up the core, warming up the spine. You're gonna give me two more. Arch it and round it. Last one, arch it and round it, roll it up, and we're doing shoulder rolls back for four. So pull those shoulders up into the ears and push down. Two more, and good, and take it forward. Front, and two, feels good, right? Yeah, and good. good, now we're gonna go into knee hugs. So just pulling that up into the chest, warming up the hip joint. So you guys, I mentioned we've got different focus each day, each workout, two more. I'll explain my thought in one second. Now go side, lateral lunge side, step together. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna give you a little taste of each of those days. We've got two more right here. Lunge it, so I'll show you a pull move, push move, leg move from here, tilt it forward, give me two little pulses. We'll do a cardio move and an ab move. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna get a killer workout. Yeah, you will. Last one right here. And good, roll it all the way up. So, light to medium weights for today's workout. I have fives, eights, 110, and 115. You're gonna see the cast using the core ball today. If you don't have the core ball, no big deal. I'll show you how to do the moves without it, but it does add quite a bit to your workout, so you're gonna to wanna to get that ball. Okay, we're gonna start with a push move. I'm gonna hold my 10, watch it once. We're gonna lunge to the left. It starts at my left shoulder. So it's gonna be a little lateral lunge. I'm gonna push it up. Now here's the eccentric muscle contraction. Four counts to lower it down. So it's gonna be lunge, push, down, two, three, four. We're gonna do 10 of them together. Let's actually start going to the right. Here we go in three, two, one. So we lunge right, sink in, drive that weight up, slow bringing it down to the left shoulder. Now we're gonna lunge to the left, sink in, drive it up, down, two, three, four. Core is nice and tight as we do this, always protecting the lower back. 
you guys, your weight choice is going to inform your performance level here. So make sure you're focusing on a weight that you can really control for this eccentric muscle contraction. Like I said, this is where really big strength gains come from. Studies have shown that working in the eccentric muscle contraction actually can give you the most strength gains. Who doesn't like that? I love it. So we get faster strength gains, we improve our performance, and we lower our risk of injury. This is number nine. Drive it up, down, two, three, four. Last one, lunge it, press it, control it, control it, control it, control it, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go into a suitcase squat. So you guys are all gonna put the ball between your thighs. I'm gonna show it to you without. Feet are hip width apart, toes are forward, weights in my right hand. We're gonna lower into the squat for four counts. So we go down, two, three, four, stand up. Five with it in the right hand, five with it in the left for a total of 10. Here we go. And down, two, three, four, drive it up through the heel. So I really want you to melt. I say melt like ghee, not butter. Because in four week gut protocol, we don't eat butter, we use clarified butter. Drive it up. Two more on this side, you guys. So they have that ball between their legs. Like I said, that's gonna activate way more muscles. And switch hands, we're gonna keep going, same thing. So the core ball increases muscle activation. It increases the demand on your neuromuscular system, which helps improve your balance and your coordination. That little ball does a whole lot of work. This is number four on this side. Give me one more, down, two, three, four, and all the way up. Set that weight down, bending both knees. I'm gonna switch to my eights, we're working a hammer curl. So the first move we did was a push, the second move was a leg. This is a pull move. When we have emphasis, it all stays with one muscle group. But I'm giving you a little taste of all of it. So it looks like this. Hammer curl, four walks forward, and as you walk forward, you lower them, you curl it and walk four walks back. Yes? Yes. yes. All right, here we go. Good and one. curl it up. We walk together. Two, three, four. And do it again. Curl it. Take it back. Two, three, four. Like I said, you guys, you can do this as a standalone program, but fitness and nutrition really go hand in hand. So it's important to really maximize your results. That's why I created the four week gut protocol. So many of us don't even realize we have food sensitivities. We don't realize just how good we can actually feel. It's not restrictive. It's gonna still allow you to eat foods that you love, but you're gonna wake up feeling so good, mm -hmm. not have the bloating and the gas and the discomfort. We've got two more, <laughs> curl it. I know nobody likes to hear that or really talk about it, but when you have it and it doesn't feel good, it's really important and rest. Good. For healthy outside starts from the inside. Okay, let's check out a cardio move. So cardio day is the only day we don't focus on the eccentric muscle contraction. All our cardio moves happen for one minute intervals. So we're gonna do a side lunge knee driver shuffle. It looks like this. Side lunge, arms go over. You're gonna lift the knee, back into the side lunge, step, and then step to the other side. Jumana's not gonna lift her knee, she's gonna do a little toe tap. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Ready. We go in three, two, one. We go side lunge, lift, core's tight, side lunge, step together, other side. No impact, but watch, the heart rate is going to climb so fast. These guys know, yeah. they've already been experiencing it. So we're using the legs and using the arms to help drive that heart rate up. So you sink into the legs, push down through the hands, and then pull up. One of the big things we focus on is that mind-muscle connection. So engaging the back, engaging the shoulders, engaging the core. Imagine you have a resistance band attached to the floor in your foot, so every time you pull that foot up, you engage the lower abs. You got 20 more seconds to go. You guys are getting a great workout with no impact. It feels so good on your joints. And anyone can do this. You just have to be intentional with your movement. We got five more seconds. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Three, two, and rest. Okay, Ooh. coming down for an ab exercise. 
Like I said, you're getting a little taste of everything. So you guys are gonna use the core ball. You and I are gonna do it without. It's a little knee tuck, press out. So you guys squeeze the ball between your calves. We're gonna pull it in on the one and take four counts to press something heavy away from us. 10 times. Here we go, start with the legs out. And pull it in, push away, two, three, four. Pull it in, now push. Again, I said push something heavy away from you. There's that mind-muscle connection again. When you think about really pushing, 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 you're gonna draw your lower abs in that much harder. And squeeze it in, you guys. Again, every time you use that ball, you're engaging the pelvic floor, the core muscles, all the muscles firing simultaneously, maximizing your results. We're almost there, we got two to go. Come on, you guys, sometimes the biggest challenge is just showing up when your mind has really convincing excuses yeah. as to why you shouldn't and rest. Okay, now, when you get into four weeks for everybody, you'll see the workouts have four or five moves grouped together, and then you repeat them. I wanna give you a bigger variety and a bigger taste, so we're gonna skip the repetition and move on to another group of five, doing a push, a leg, a pull, a cardio, and a core. Let's do it, moving on to a push. So we've got a tricep kickback. It looks like this, feet hip width apart, toes forward. I'm gonna go sideways so they can see it really quick. Row the weights into your armpits. Kick them back on the one. In, two, three, four. Stand up, knee raise. If you're modifying, you're just gonna tap the toe. Here we go. Bend it forward, draw the belly button into the spine. Row it up into your armpits and kick it back on the one. In, two, three, nice and slow. Stand up, lift the right knee, gently place it down, fold back over, kick it back. Now, do a small pelvic tilt forward if you feel your lower back pulling, lift, hold forward, take it back. Head is in line with the spine, shooting energy out the top of your head, all the way down through your tailbone. The goal here is to keep the elbows lifted nice and high so you keep those triceps engaged. Just made it a lot harder, didn't I? Sure did. In, two, three, four, stand tall, lift it. Same thing. I need you to focus on pulling that foot up like there's a resistance loop wrapped around it so that you engage the lower abs. Even though each day I have a specific focus on a muscle group, you guys will see the whole body works every single day. We have two to go, All kick right, it go. back. Woo. Yeah, y'all are quiet, come on. <laughs> They're like, we're tired, you guys got this, last one. Kick it back, in, two, three, four, and lift it, and relax. Okay, so on our leg days in particular, we do four leg moves, we repeat them, and then the second grouping of four leg moves, I compound the movements, meaning I take two legs and I put the two leg movements and I put them together. So that's what we're gonna do with this next one. It's a sumo squat to a sumo deadlift. I'm gonna hold one weight, you have the option for one weight or two. It's really just about comfort level. Legs wide, toes turned out, it looks like this. Just watch it once, four counts to go down. So we lower, two, three, four, keeping the chest up. Stand up on the one, now you hip hinge forward for four, two, three, four, just to a flat back, and you stand up. That counts as one. Let's do it! Let's Here go. we go, and we sink in with the chest up, like you're sliding your back down a wall. Drive up through the heels, now tilt it forward, stick the booty back, small bend in the knees, keep the shoulders pulled back, stand up, that's one, do it again. So what's happening is here when I compound the movements is we're doing what we call a quad dominant exercise and a hip dominant exercise. So this is your quad dominant, working the top front of your legs, Very. inner thighs, and then we fold forward and this is the hamstrings and the booty just a little bit more. Keep those shoulders pulled back, down, to melt it, milk it. It's really important to take this nice and slow. I want that time under tension. I want that eccentric muscle contraction. I want it to burn. If it isn't burning, if your heart rate isn't climbing, you need heavier weights to hold. This is why everybody can do this, because we're not moving super fast. 
Moving slow allows us to focus on the muscle being worked. It's everything I just mentioned, and everything is being worked because we're keeping those shoulder blades pulled back, and in doing that, we're engaging the back muscles. We're keeping the core nice and tight. Ooh, my booty's on fire. 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 This is number eight right here. Slowly. I love this one. You guys, I'm just gonna tell you this right now. You are not always going to be motivated to work out. So you have to be disciplined. Motivation doesn't make it easier. It makes it possible, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And rat. Oh, I lied. Last one right here. Oh, Down. <laughs> two. Sorry, my bad. It's okay. I like I'm that. counting all the different numbers. <laughs> Forward, two, three, you know four, and good. All right. Coming down on our backs, we're going back into a pull move. It's a single weight. You're gonna hold one weight for a lat pullover. You guys are gonna put the ball between your thighs, and we're gonna also add in a glute bridge. So, you want a medium-ish weight. You might think, oh, I could do really heavy lat pullover, but remember, we're gonna work that eccentric muscle contraction, so we gotta go a little slower. Knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Small bend in the elbows. We go back, two, three, Four, pull it up, glute bridge up and down. Yes? yes. Here we go. And take it back, two, three, four, pull it over, squeeze it up, lower it down. Do it again. Relax the head, relax the neck, relax the shoulders. Three, four, feel those big muscles in your back. Take over as you lower that weight backwards. Keep breathing through it. Try not to grip in your neck, pull it up, glute bridge it up. So they're using that ball again, you guys. They're squeezing it, they're activating it, they're getting their inner thighs, their lower abs, so much more. That ball is so worth it. Yes, yes. and sneaky. it is very sneaky. It does definitely up the intensity of the workout. Now you guys, I mentioned fitness and nutrition go hand in hand. I mentioned I designed this workout program specifically to go with the four week gut protocol. That's because I went through my own gut health issues and in doing it I learned so much and I wanted to take that and pass that information on to everybody else because I learned just how quickly food can throw us out of balance, fake food, things that don't make us feel good, but also when you eat right, just how Quickly, it can improve how you feel, and I want you to experience that. We're almost there. Up, down. This is our last one right here. Pull it up and over. Squeeze that booty up. Lower it down. Come on up. We're moving on to our cardio move. Let me show it to you. But y'all, did you know that 70% of Americans have undiagnosed food sensitivities? That's crazy. Don't put in all this hard work and not see the results because you're not putting in the right fuel into your body. Legs wide, toes turned out. Start it up and over your head to the right. You're gonna do a sumo squat, swing it, pivot that back foot, squeeze that booty, and we're gonna alternate side to side for a minute. Are you ready? Do it. Here we go. And sink low, pivot. So work in the core, work in the shoulders, work in the legs. You guys, it is only four days a week. It is less than 30 minutes. You are worth that commitment. This is going to make being consistent so easy. And then I'm also giving you a little bonus. I'm including four cycle workouts that will live on body. That's Beach Body On Demand Interactive. So you can always sub those in for a cardio workout, or what I tell you guys is we have four days of working out together here, and then I want you to get a fifth day of movement in, and you get to decide what that movement is based on how your body feels. If you need something harder, maybe you want a cycle workout, or you want to join me on body for a live workout. If you need just a walk or stretching, it's totally up to you. Five more seconds. You got it. Come on, three, Woo. two, and rest. Bring it down. Last move. So it's a twisting ball crunch. They're gonna use the ball. Now, the ball is gonna allow them a little more range of motion, but I'm gonna show you how you can do it if you don't have the ball. Whew, but trust me, that ball makes it better. So you're gonna contract back like somebody sucker punches you and rotate at the same time. It's back, two, three, four, Lift it up, and we'll alternate side to side 
10 times. Here we go. Take the arms up so the ball's at the base of your spine if you have it. And we go back, two, three, four, lift it up and other side. Take it back, squeeze those abs, exhale and breathe. You guys, when you combine four weeks for everybody with the four week gut protocol, you are going to see, you are going to feel, you are going to get the results that you want. You eat delicious food, you never feel hungry, you help improve your gut health, and therefore you improve your overall health. I think that is something that we all want. You have to eat like you love yourself. You yes. have to train like, like you, you love, love yourself. Yes. And most importantly, you have to speak like you love yourself. So let go of any negative self-talk and embrace the program. Last one. And bring it all Ooh. the way up. Yeah. And rest. Okay, let's stretch it out. You guys, that was 20 minutes. You did amazing. You got a nice, uh, reach for your toes. You got a nice little sample of what the workouts are like. Now, again, it's four days a week. Push day, pull day, leg day, cardio day. So on the push days, we would focus on the push muscles, the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. Bring the soles of feet together, stretch out those hips. On those pull days, it's back and biceps. On the leg day, it's legs. On the cardio day, even though it's no impact, that heart rate is gonna be up. You're gonna get challenged. We're gonna alternate between body weight exercises and weighted exercises. Whole body gets worked, feels amazing. You get in, you get it done, and you get on with your day. Let's stretch out the quads a little bit. Get in and get out. Get in, get out. <laughs> And like I said, I'm just gonna reiterate it again. Combining it with the four week gut protocol, I believe is how you're gonna start to get the best results. You get to do a little kind of like reset on your gut health, right? Start to improve everything. Figure out how to fuel your body for the workouts that you're doing. You feel so good. And then you can keep going with portion fix or any other nutrition. But I really truly believe we all need that reset a little bit. We all need to take our body back to those like factory settings, right? Yes. Yes. Take the hands down, drop one ear to the shoulder, reach the fingertips down, stretch out your neck. And lift it up, other side. You guys did amazing. Now we have one more special treat for you at the end of each of our workouts. Chef Bobby is coming out right now Bobby. with a gut friendly healthy snack for us and all of the snacks that Bobby makes for us during four weeks of four everybody is available in the four week gut protocol. So make sure you guys check those out as well. Bobby, let's eat. You guys ready for some energy? We got some gut healthy energy bites. These are part of our protocol. Got a lot of good ingredients. Bananas, cranberries, flaxseed, dark chocolate, and some oats for that energy. So you got five different plants in there. That's great because the number one determining factor of gut health is the variety of plants that you eat in a week. So we aim for 30 different plants a week. We've really tried to account for that in the recipe. So this is awesome because you're getting five different ones right here. You're getting prebiotics, fiber, omega-3s, all things that are really good for our gut health. So yes, Bobby, There it is, it. and it tastes great when you put them all together. Yes, okay. Well, you guys it. let me know if it tastes yeah, great. Yeah, I'll be the judge yeah. of that, <laughs> Oh, good. These are so mm. good. Some simple ingredients. They no go bake. in a food processor. This is no bake. Like, you guys can whip this up in 10 minutes flat, and then you have them for when you're on the go. This is what I love, is that snacks can be so good and healthy. Mm. Thank you, Bobby. You're welcome. Yeah. We are going to have a bunch of snacks. I hope you guys like them all. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. I love it. Mm -hmm. Four Weeks for Everybody was designed as a companion program to follow while doing the four-week gut protocol. But you can do this program anytime you're looking for a non-impact program that gives you great results in four days a week without any jumping. And if you have a beach body bike, you'll also find four rides for everybody available on Bot Interactive to substitute for cardio or add a fifth workout to your week. Let's get started with Four Weeks for Everybody today. And by everybody, that means you.